Hey guys, I haven't really made, uh, and excuse me, ladies also. <laughs> I haven't made any videos lately because I'm kind of busy with stuff. So, I did, however, um, a couple of weeks ago, I tested PlayStation Now. Just because they've been like pushing it down my throat from my PS4 Pro whenever I like started it. Anyhow, at the time, I did it because they have a 7 day free trial which you can see here and we can go down the prices um, one month 10 euros or dollars and um, three months 25 euros or dollars and uh, one year basically 60 euros or dollars I'm not sure how it works with pounds but I guess you UK people can check it out yourself now um, the reason why I did this is because unlike on Xbox you cannot buy on PlayStation 4, and I'm guessing, or on 5, you cannot buy Fallout New Vegas or 3, which I would very much like to play. But they do have them on PlayStation Now. From that, we can kind of like uh, go fast into the other games that they have. So as you can see on November, you know, three new games, I guess that's cool, right? But if you check their game library at the moment, they do not have many games. That's just a fact. They do not have many games. So I'm somewhat really disappointed that it is nowhere near how Xbox Game Pass is. Because when the other words, uh, was that the name of the game? Um, the Obsidian game, you know, that was kind of like Fallout. Uh, when that came new, it was immediately there. Like, if you had the subscription, you got that game. So, PlayStation Now is nothing like that. So, they have, like, some PS4 games and um, some PS3 games and uh, there might be some PS2 even or perhaps even one. I'm not sure about that. But the library is not definitely deep. It is not deep. It is not even mid-level deep. It is really shallow. Let's put it this way. Now, for my own preferences, uh, I wanted to play, as I mentioned, let's go back to what I was speaking about earlier. I wanted to play with, um, on, excuse me, on PlayStation, I wanted to play Fallout 3 and New Vegas. Because it had been like years, um, almost, wait, almost or over a decade, I'm not sure, since I played them last. Now, immediately I started with Fallout 3 because that's like pretty much my all-time favorite game or top 3, 5. So, I started that and uh, I was enjoying myself. And quite immediately after like, because I play a lot, I noticed that I had reached the max level. And at that point I realized, oh crap, there are no DLCs. And that is actually for all the games. You have no DLCs unless it's some kind of like a game of the year edition, which don't <laughs> hold your hopes high. They do not have any of those if they are after, um, if they are like, if they are PS3, PS2, PS1 games, no DLCs. Now, from what I understand, you can buy the DLCs, but then if you cancel your subscription, you lose the DLCs basically because you lose the game. So, PlayStation Now, try the seven day trial, but definitely in no way or shape it is worth paying more than one or two months max. It is really crappy at the moment, but I hope it will get better. Thank you. Bye. Sorry, I forgot about one more thing. If you are playing games that are PS3 or older, on some of them, there are no trophies. Now, I was very disappointed on this because I was playing after Fallout 3 and New Vegas. I played Civilization Revolution, which is one of my favorite games uh, from the Xbox 360 era. And um, yeah, I didn't get a single trophy because apparently they do not have trophies there. Now, if you count the trophies missing and uh, DLCs missing and... Playing games that you could buy used for like a euro or two, dollar or two, you know, PS2, PS3 games. This subscription, like I mentioned, definitely not worth it. So this is something you might want to consider because, you know, not getting trophies, not getting DLCs, it is really 
really, you know, it bums you out, especially when they don't have that many games to start with. So anyhow, if you have any questions regarding this, please leave a comment. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Bye-bye.